Hi, Ishu. Hello. How are you today? Fine. Good. So, are you ready to do a test for me? Yeah. Maths test? Yeah. Okay. So, can you tell me in which class you are? Reception. Reception. And how old you are? Four. Four years old. Okay. All right. So, let's do a test. Okay? Yeah. Good luck. Start. Pause. Yes. Okay. Do it now. Mm hmm Oh, three did you adding? Yeah, three numbers adding. Ten. No, five. A ten. A five. Fifteen. No, twenty. <laughs> yeah, because there are two fives. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Well done. So you want me to erase it? Oh, you can do it yourself. Mm hmm. You erase twenty. I've turned the page over. Next question. Eighteen minus six. Twelve. Ten times ten. One hundred. Very good. Eighteen. No, eighteen minus ten. Seventy. Um, five plus thirty-two. Thirty-seven. Very good. Oh, five times six. Ninety-eight plus four. Hundred two. Twenty-two plus twenty-two. Forty-four. Oh, something plus eight equals twelve. Four. Sixty-eight plus twenty, sixty-eight, seventy-eight, eighty-eight, eighty, eight, seven plus eighty-four, eighty-four. Hmm, eighty-four. Aha, eighty-four plus seven will be ninety-one. Oh, 14 divided by 2, half 14. Huh? Do it in front of the camera. Huh? Half 14. Equals. Seven. Hmm. So let me write seven. Oh, so I've done the right. Now sixty-four minus eleven. Sixty-four, fifty-four, fifty P. So fifty fifty. Super. 39 minus 20, 39, 29, 90, and 54 minus 8, 55 minus 4 is 50, isn't it? And then minus another 4, 50. 49, 48, 47. Well done. Now, 40 divided by 10. Do you 20. know divisions? Do you know divisions? Yes. Because 40 divided by 10, see, is, if I do half of 40, let me get the equation. That's 40. 
So let's circle it out and give it a cross. Or and on the cross in there. So. <coughs> Is it half or 40? Yep, 20. When do you do half or 40? When you divide by 2 or when you divide by 10? Divide by 2. Yeah, so here we are dividing by? 10, sir. I was right. Quarter. Hmm. Quarter of 40, which is 10. <laughs> so. Okay, no problem. So I will do this. It's I will bit. erase it for you. And write to one. Okay, no problem. What about the devil? So do you think that's the answer? Okay, move on to the next question. Can you do that? Oh yeah. 50. 10, so 10. Put one. Do you want to use your method? What? What method you use for these type of questions? The method. No. Column method? Column method. Yeah. You can do column method here. You have a space. Okay. So, um, unit. Mm -hmm. Put a line put for the answer. Three add seven, then put the zebra there, one there, six, sixty. So the answer is sixty. Something add, no, something equals nineteen minus five. Something add what equals nineteen first? It's simply nineteen minus five, isn't it? Yeah, no, Ooh. What's that? Quarters of eight. Can you do that? Yeah. Two. Oh, you know that? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> That's good. Oh, half of 90. Let me see if it's 35. Mm. No, that's half of seventy. That's half of seventy, yes. So what could be the half of ninety? Any guess? Half of ninety. Seventy? No, that's half of hundred and forty. Yes, 70 is half of 140. 60? 60. No. 60 is half of what? Half of 9 I need to do and then give that number in 10. Yes, so you can do half of 9 and but then... But it's an odd number, so I know. how will we do that? So... So... Aha! Do it, do it. Okay, so you got the idea what to do? Yeah. Half of 90? Nah, 45. Oh, wow. <laughs> so how did you work it out, half of 90? Oh, I first... Sit down. I first thought if I can minus 10, and I thought, yeah, so I Sit think down, minus 10. Ones. My yes. thought, oh, I can minus 10. And I thought, yeah, but then I minus 10 to see, make it 80, this number. Okay. And then split, do half of it, 40, and then add 10. Okay. So 40 add 
but half of 10 by can you, 45. Can you, can you write in two steps? You first did 90 as 80 plus 10, right? Yes. This is what you did. So... You did 80 plus 10. You partitioned 90 as 80 oh, plus I 10. Oh, I know partition. Yeah, I know. This is what you did, actually. You didn't, you didn't know the method. You didn't know the method, but actually you did 90 as 80 plus 10. And then you did half of 80 and half of 10. And then you added them together. What? Yes, that's how you did, right? Partition. Yeah, this is called partition. Well done. Very nice. And what class is partition in? It, it's in reception. It's in reception, isn't it? Mm. Did you learn it in school? No. You didn't learn I it never in school? Learned it. Okay. So maybe very soon you will learn it in school. Okay, in no problem. Reception. Shall we do next question then? Yeah. 100 minus 1 equals 52. 48. 48 equals 52. How did you do that? I don't know. It looks very difficult for me. Hmm. I can't I do that. I did 100 minus what equals 50, which was 50, which so I minus Oh, wow, you gave me one more method. Okay. Thank you. Now, what is two forks mean? Uh -huh. Two halves. Is it? No. Oh, so it's that quarter. Two quarter. Two quarters. Okay. So can you try to do it? Let's see if we can do it. But I don't know what two quarters mean. So you want to skip this question. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. We'll come to this question later. Okay. Now, next question. 62. Oh, I'm struggling. 62 minus 54. Oh, so six, 6 minus 5 equals 1. And four minus two equals two. So twelve. Do you want to check your answer again? Okay, can you do uh, can you do it with your finger method? What do you mean this? How do we take away Ah sixty two? Yeah. Count back. This sixty two Count back. 60, 40, 59, 58, 57, and 56, 55, 54, 53, 52. No, you have 54. to stop at 54. That is what you are doing. Start from 62, stop at 54, and see how many counts did you go back. Ah, uh, and then to that number. Yes. 62, 61, 50, 50, no, 58, 50. Twenty three. That's okay. Let's let's go to the next question. I, I bet I can do it. Sixty two. Sixty one. No. Sixty. Do you want to use your number line? What you do in your school? Six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. Cause say sixty two misses mm. that two. 62 minus 2 is 2, correct? Well done. You are now using a, some sensible method. And, and then, then... I need to stop at 54. Oh, so, 60 so minus... I minus 6, so I did 2 minus 6, which equals plus 8. So, 8. So, the answer is 8. So, 62 minus 2 makes 60. And then, 60 to 54 is again 6 difference. So, 6 plus 2, 8. Wow, well done. Finally, you worked it out. Eight. Well done. Eight. So, oh, this looks more tricky. But 73 see, minus but 90. 73. 
minus nineteen. So we get three minus nineteen. Oh, so so minus nine. No, we always start our column method from units and then tens. We first do units and then we go to the tens. Well, three minus nine. So that's six and that's six sixty six. Okay, can you tell me what's seventy three minus twenty? Seventy three sixty. So seventy three minus twenty is fifty three. Fifty two. Fifty two. Well done. Because nineteen is one less than twenty. So you need to come back. What was that say? Seventy three minus twenty is. That's your answer. Yeah? Well done. So, no, oh wow, you have finished the paper. Well done. Shall I check how many questions you have done correctly? Now can we go back to the question that we struggled with them. Oh yes, of course. We can see. Mm. So now let's look at your answers. That's 2 plus 5 is correct. Give that a tick. You want me to give you a tick on this? For yes. So... 9 minus 3 is correct. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me check. Mommy's math is not good. 6, 7, 8, 9. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Mommy wants to check your answers with your method. So, this is correct. 10 at 5 is makes... 15 at 5, 20. Makes 20. So you are doing takes on your own? Yeah. No problem. 18 minus 6. Okay, let me check my way. 12 add 6. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Lovely. So the answer is correct. 10 times 10 is easy. Correct. 18 minus 10 is also correct. 5 plus 32 is? Also Th this looks correct to me. It's a get math for everything. 6 times 5 is 30. You know your times table. See? See the benefit of learning times table? You can do your multiplication problems. 98 add 2 makes 100. Add another 2 makes 102. This is double of 22. I know that. That's yeah. Because Thank four you. And four. This four. is also correct. Hmm. So far, all answers correct. Now this one. 68. A jump of 10 gives 78. Yep. Another jump of 10 gives 88. 88. Instead, 68, 78, 88. Yeah. And how did you do this 7, 8, 84? Did you use your fingers? Nope. I did 84 thing. I knew 84 plus 6 was 90, but it was plus 7, so I added one more. So you use your bond method. 84 yes. add 6 makes 90, and then you use the excess 1, which makes 91. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So, next is 14 divided by 2. You know, divided by 2 is half. half. And you worked it out very well. Very good. Which is half. Okay. Now, now let's see. 53 add 10 makes 63. Yes. And then add one more makes 64. This is also correct. Super. Awesome. So, we'll have say 64 and then minus, minus 10. Ah, 64. Yes. Now you are trying to do it with Abacus. Yeah. <laughs> That's another advantage of learning Abacus, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, so, I did well with Yeah. 
39 minus 20. So, um, how did you do that? 39 minus 10 makes 29. And then another minus 10 makes 19. Yeah. Well done. Now the bit had 29 on No, it 10. shouldn't be. Just set the bit 3 on the 10th rod, 9 on the 1th rod. And minus 20 means just do the 2 beats down from the 10th rod. And which is left? 1 beat on the 10th rod and 9 beats on the 1th rod. That means 19. See, we could do it with the Bacchus also. Anyhow, you have not, haven't learned two digit numbers in a Bacchus, but still we can work it out. It's yeah. simple addition, uh, addition, subtraction, isn't it? Yeah, it's simple for me. Yeah. Well, that one's <clears throat> a bit hard. So how did you do that? 54 minus 4. You first, again, you used your bonds. First, you first I did 54 minus 4, which equals 15 minus 4, 46. Perfect. Uh, so, 40 divided by 10. Well, I think we need to learn it. So, do you know when we divide mm -hmm. something with a number, we see like 40 divided by 10 needs to find out this. So, we need to find out 10 times what makes 40. 10 times what makes 40? Can you do it now if I tell you the... Wow. So, 4. Yes. So, that's the way we always yeah, do divisions. No, no. <laughs> no, because while doing the paper, you didn't do it, right? I am not going to give you this number. But, I explained you, whenever you have to do division, this is the way you need to do, okay? 10 times what? Yeah, I know. But, okay, that's alright. Now you know how to use divisions, okay? In odd numbers. Yeah. Now, 23 plus 37, you did it correct. You used your column method. You forgot to you put your carry number here. Always write the carry number. Although you have just counted the carry number and added it, but always write your carry number, okay? Oh, you might no. forget the number. Yeah. So, in this type of question, this is also easy. You, uh, This is just the other way around. Most of the time, you see the numbers here and the empty box or the answer box this side. But this is the other way around. They have just switched the position. So, it is 19 minus 5. So, it's which like 14 equals 19 minus 5. Which is true. Yes, which true. is true. One quarter of... So, I did... Because I did this a lot of times in school. Half of eight is four and then did half of four is two. So how did you work out half of 90? Let's see again. You first did half of 80. Then you did half of 10. And then you added them all together. Because you know 80, because you know 80 and 10 makes 90. So you did 40. Add 5, which is the perfect method to find out half of a big number. When you don't know the half of big number, you divide it, split it, or partition it, and then solve it. Well done. Thumbs up. That's what I did. Yes. And this is again, here again, you use your partition method. You first minus 50 from 100, and then 2 down. So, which is correct. For everything except one. Yeah. That's okay. This thing you couldn't do it. I will teach you how we do these kind of questions. Anyways, you haven't learned fractions much, right? That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I know a bit, but I haven't learned in school. So, so, so now in column method, always remember we start from the unit place and then we go to the tens place. And when the uh, Top number is smaller than the bottom number. We borrow a 10 to make it bigger and then we do the subtraction. But anyhow, the way you solve this question is you count it backwards. Okay? This is how you did it. You counted, you started from 62, counted backwards and stopped at 54. And then you checked how many count back you do. It is some. Yeah, it is somewhat partition. Yes. Kind of so, fast. this is correct. 
and here again column method you were unable to do it but then when I told you how much is 73 minus 20 then you thought okay if you do 73 minus 20 you can work out 73 minus 19 as well so that's false that's wrong look so you borrow a 10 that makes 13 13 minus 9 is 13 4 4 now because you gave a 10 to this I am learning this in school I don't know the that's a high class I can I can just do it like up to two classes that's here, fine here that's fine for my class or that's fine so let's see how many marks you got in this paper you lost one mark here one mark here that's two and then one, one mark. mark here that's three that's okay that's fine now we know what areas we need to work on so in all well, you I lost three to... marks out of 25 so can you tell me how many marks you got to... Uh, out of 25, 25 and 22 th out of 25 because you lost 3 marks so 22 add 3 makes 25 well done super super impressive well done thank you so much for attempting this question paper you know which year this paper is this is year 2 sats paper of 2019 why does it say one then? Key stage one. So your brother, your brother last month gave this sad paper in his class. He is in year two, right? Yeah. So this is year two sad paper of this year. And you just tried it so well. I'm so proud of you. So I am in year two and know all of it. Yes, thank you for trying it. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye to everyone. Bye-bye.